G'day Leo, welcome to TJ Terror Down Under. Going to do the love energy coming towards you. Where's that now? See what's going on, eh? So this is a general reading. Take what resonates, leave the rest. If it doesn't resonate at all, guess what? It's not your reading. Okay? Okay. <laughs> all right, let's go. Give me three cards for the love energy coming towards Leo, please. Uh, all the decks are listed below in the description box in the order that I'm using them in case you are interested. Okay, it's three. And the clarifiers. Hope you're all doing well. <clears throat> yeah. Hope you're doing well. Oh, there's your card, the sun. Well, one of your cards. Alright, clarify card number one, please. It's actually not your card. It's actually just the sun. Because some of them are actual planets. Yours is actually the strength card. Card number two, please. Ooh. Card number three. Clarify, please. Whoa. Again, knocking that sign down. This is pretty strong energy. Okay. All right, let's go. Very soon. Clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now. Someone's got to make a decision about you, Leo. Very soon. Nine of Swords. I can't sleep at night thinking about having to make this decision. Ooh. Three of Swords. About to break someone's heart. Or Ten of Pentacles. Long-term stability. Oh, someone's got to make a decision here. They've got to make a decision. They can't sleep at night. They're either going to break your heart or they're going to fully commit to you. Oh, dear. I'll stick with this long-term. I'll break your heart. Oh, oh sorry, Leo. Oh, it's not good that they're in that position. That's not good. Because that's... Yeah. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't like that they're like that. Why, why do they have to break your heart? Or why, you know, what stay with you for the money? I'll break your heart. I don't like that. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. There's a higher level of commitment here, which long-term stability, yeah. The fool. Mm, the moon. And the star. Three major arcana here. This, Yeah, this is major. Do they take that leap of faith in the commitment or is it foolish to do so? I'm hearing, that's what I'm hearing. The secrets and the fear. The secrets and the fear. And then the healing. The healing and the wish. The healing and the wish. The secrets and the fear. The unknown. The... the the leap of faith, or is it foolish? There's something hidden here, and there's something that they're afraid of. As much as they want to take the leap of faith, because it is what they wish for to have that commitment, there's some sort of fear or something they're hiding. 
that's causing them to think that it's foolish to do this. They just... <coughs> Sorry. For coughing. This is a strange reading. Getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Don't they know who you already? Ah. This could be something in the early stages. Yeah, that's it. I think they're afraid to jump into a commitment here. It is what they're wishing for, but they think it's foolish. And they're afraid. Six of Pentacles. Okay, so getting to know you. Making sure you are more balanced. Making sure that you know more about each other. Making sure there's balance, give and take. Queen of Pentacles before offering stability com and commitment and love. And Five of Pentacles out in the cold. Which is the opposite in a way. It's like... Weighing up, yeah, they want to know, yeah, they're going to, I think they're going to find out a bit more about you and weigh up whether they, if this is something they can commit to or should they leave it out in the cold, because they're basically in two minds at the moment, mm, I hope this is an early stage, <sighs> relationship, because if it's long term then, yeah, this person's having doubts about this going further. But with the getting to know each other, I'd say they don't know enough about you yet to make that decision. Okay, give me three more cards for the love energy coming towards Leo, please. Oh, we got two there. Okay, so that's that one. Oh, it's upside down. And that one. That one. Oh, I've knocked the sign down myself. That's a silly belly. All right. Let's get the clarifiers. While you're waiting, if you're enjoying the reading so far, hit the like and subscribe and the bell. It's free. And I'd really appreciate it if you did. Excellent. Be excellent. All right, clarify card number one on row two. Please. Well, that's your card. That's interesting. Card number two, please. Okay. Got a bit of a pile of cards for that one. Card number three, please. Daughter to romance. Mm. Okay, opening the door to romance to you. Male or female, King of Wands. But, yeah, they're opening that door to, wanting to open that door to romance with you, but are staying very in control of their actions and their passions. So they're not, yes, they're going to romance. There's, they want to open this door to romance with you, but they're, Keeping everything in the air, they're not losing control. They're not, yeah, they're keeping everything under control because they don't want things to get out of hand. Because they're still, mm, they've opened that door to romance, but then they're controlling themselves, or possibly even holding back from it going too far with that door to romance. All right, what do we got here? Journey, which is like the fool's journey. Pack their bags and off on a journey. Okay, what have we got? Page of Cups. Ace of Wands. So speaking of love. Passionate beginning. Temperance. Then they want to wait. Then they wait to see if this blends together. What are they waiting for? To see what manifests. All right. So, yeah, this is the journey. This is how they see this. There's, you know, talk of emotion. Yes, there's interest in each other. There's passion. 
could have been a bit of passionate action. Now they're just going to wait and see what manifests from that. What have we got next? Queen of Swords. Okay, I'm making sure that they come correctly or you come correctly. Oh, Three of Swords. Hmm. Okay, guarding the heart against heartbreak here. Knight of Pentacles, until they see stable action. Yeah, because they're not going to be cheated. Not going to fall into the trap of being cheated. They're looking for that King of Pentacles. Commitment, long-term stable commitment. That's that's what they're wishing for, yeah. All right, so they're just they're being cautious here. They're being cautious here, protecting their heart from heartbreak, waiting to see if there's stable action or if this even goes anywhere because they are not going to fall into the trap of committing to someone that yeah, not going to fall into the trap of being hurt again. They want commitment. They want long-term commitment, and that's their wish. That's what they're wishing for. Mm, that's why they're not certain that they still don't know you enough, Leo. And that's that's why they're still weighing it up. Because, yeah, whether they might get their heart broken. Are you just? That's what they can't got to make their decision about. You, are you going to break their heart, or is this going to be something long-term? Okay, the thinking man, which is the king of swords, basically. I've got the queen of swords there, too. Um, yeah, so they're really having a very good thing about this. crystal. They want everything crystal clear, in a way. Well, with your intentions, I don't think it's like, oh, it's got to be set in stone. Okay, what have we got? This about you. There's your card, strength card. Mm, the ten of wands, the burden, and the eight of wands, the communication. What they're gonna say? Yeah, because when it comes to you, we're thinking a lot about this. You, and are you just taming your beast until you release the beast and break their heart, or you know this is their and this is what they're thinking because they don't know you yet. So they're really burdened about what communication to have with you, passionate communication, and and this is fast action as well. This Eight of Wands is fast action, and yeah, I think it's too much for them to go too fast with you. They really need to have a think about it all, and see, get to know more about you. Is this something they can commit to, or should they leave you out in the cold, because they're still trying to weigh up what your intentions are. The romance is happening, but uh, it's, yeah, they're controlling that and not letting that get out of hand. Okay, calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. So, you know, they see you, they're hoping that you are the soulmate they've been calling in. Visualizing this coming together. So that's a good sign. The tower, mm, but they're waiting for it all to fall apart. This is a problem. As much as they want you to be their soulmate, there is a fear that this is all just going to come crashing down. It's obviously past experience, nothing to do with you. Man holding a coin, okay, so we've got the king of pentacles now, and I think he's here as well. So, hmm. Long-term stability. Intelligence. Smart. Like, you know, they look at commitment. They're looking for that commitment. They are looking for that commitment. But they're being smart about it is what I'm hearing. 
them, you know, and not going to just dive into something and not knowing the person. And eight of cups, yeah. If it's not emotionally fulfilling, if, it, you know, you don't want the same things, then they will just walk away. <sighs> yeah. And it is basically just the, the uncertainty of what it is, where this is going. So, yeah, they need to know more about you and what, your perspectives are, are you looking for a relationship? This is what they want to know with them. Um, yeah, because they they don't want to get hurt again. And that's fair enough. They've got, I need time to heal on the bottom. I think they've healed, but not fully. Like, the, well, they... It's more of, I mean, I think it's very wise what they're doing because you don't want to jump into any relationship and be committed and all that, you know, foolishly just leap into something. You want to get to know each other first. See if you do have things in common. See if you do want, are looking for the same sort of future. All right, what would this love energy like to say to Leo, please? So I don't think see anything wrong with this person, I just think that they're just being cautious just being careful I'm always thinking about you, oh yeah, definitely definitely always thinking about you because yeah. they do want this to be the queen of pentacles, king of pentacles like they do want this to be ten of pentacles, they do want this to be long term stable commitment with love that's what they're hoping for. But they just aren't sure if that's what you want too. And I look at your pictures a lot. Yeah. They're always thinking about you. They're looking at your pictures. Yeah. <clears throat> Saying prayers and affirmations about and visualising this coming together. So. Hmm. What's at the bottom here? I can't give you what you want. And that I'm hearing, I can't commit to commit to someone that doesn't want commitment. Like, you know. The, and it's more worry. They're worried that you're not going to want the same thing that they want. And in which case they can't give you. They can't give you what you want if you want something different to what they want. They they're not gonna yeah, they they know what they want and they're not gonna yeah not gonna settle for less. You know, you know. They want they want commitment. That's what they're wishing for. Is a real commitment relationship, King and Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, something long term. That's what they're wanting. Um if you're not looking for that then they can't give you anything. They're going to break their own heart if it and leave it this out in the cold if it's, you're not looking. Which you, you know, people watching my videos looking for love, <laughs> well, love, um, love, are looking for that. So, yeah, but they're worried that you may not be looking for that. So they're just being cautious. But, hey, if you're looking for love and you think that you could have love with them and you want the same things... Oh, good. They've got nothing. You know, they're worrying about nothing. <laughs> It'll all be good. All right. Well, that's your reading, Leo. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And leave a comment. Just don't leave a comment saying, It's not my reading. Because, yeah, well, it's not your reading, so move on. Um, but, yeah, if this sounds right, then. Or if you want this to be your reading. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Well, thanks for watching. All the best. Take care. Good luck. And I'll catch you later.